Welcome back to my ASVAB party people and welcome to our new viewers. My name is Anderson, I'll be your ASVAB coach and I wanna help you out with a quick tip of the day for math, all right? So the question here is, which of the following is equivalent to dividing by 15? So I wanna share with you something that, you know, it's, it's known but not all of us utilize this idea and it's the idea of dividing by parts and not dividing by a huge number. So this is gonna help you out, especially when you're dealing with problems where you are dealing with bigger numbers. Watch this. So, which of the following is the same as dividing by 15? Remember, the word equivalent just means the same. So here's the idea. How can we take a number, let's go ahead and say, we're trying to divide by, let's go ahead and say, 100 and let's say 35. And we're trying to divide by 15. So here's the thing. You know, let's say this, this is a pretty, I wouldn't say easy, but I'm going to say it's a little more forgiving. It's not as tough as a, some of the bigger numbers you might expect, but the same difference here applies. Watch. If I try to go ahead and do that long division, 135 divided by 15, look at what happens. We end up trying to say, hey, 15 goes into 1, doesn't happen. 15 goes into 13, doesn't go in. 15 goes into 135, okay, what's that going to be? Right? Why do long division if you still got to guess and figure things out anyway? And so this is what I'm going to teach you, my party people that if you have a situation like this, which you tell me, have you experienced something like that? Tell me in the comments. Have you experienced something where you try to divide and it doesn't go in and then you're stuck there going like this? Okay, let's try 15 times eight, let's try 15 times nine, let's try 15 times 10 and you just keep guessing and trying. Why would you guess when you can use a solid strategy to get it done? So here's my quick tip of the day. What you're gonna do my party people is this. Well, what two numbers make up 15 in terms of multiplication? Well, what I know is that 15 is the same thing as 3 times 5, isn't it? And stay till the end of the whole video because I'm going to have to really explain this and how to apply it to multiplication as well and some cool little goodies for you as well. So stay till the end. But we know that 15 is going to be 3 times 5. We know that. So how does that affect us here? Well, here's the thing. If you're dividing by 15, that's the same thing as dividing by 3 and dividing by 5. It's the same exact thing. You can do it in either order. You can divide by 3, then divide by 5. You can divide by 5, then divide by 3. But if you divide by both of those numbers, what you're going to have is the equivalent of dividing by the multiplication of those numbers. Dividing by 15. Let me prove it to you. Let me prove it to you. So, for example, here's a very easy example for us to follow along with. The very easy example is this, 150 divided by 15. A lot of us know the answer here is going to be what? It's going to be 10. A lot of us know that 150 divided by 15, there's just the extra zero. So we know that that's going to be 10. So I'm going to write that right here, right next to me. Okay, we know what the answer is going to be. Let me show you how this works. So 150 divided by 15, we can change that to 150 divided by 3 times 5. Just change it to that. Nice and easy. Now, why does that make it easier? Because again, you can now just go ahead and divide by three first. So 150 divided by three, that ends up becoming 50 up top because you can basically divide out the three from the top and the bottom and you have 50 divided by five. That's a lot easier. What's 50 divided by five? 10. And you can do this in your head as opposed to thinking about how complicated it's gonna be when you try to do long division with numbers like that. So you can make your life easier by dividing by the factors instead of dividing by the whole number. And so that's why the answer here, and stay for the whole thing here, but that's why the answer is going to be C here, dividing by five and then dividing by three is the same as dividing by 15. Same thing with like dividing by 18. You can divide by six, then divide by three because six times three is 18. And here's the thing, my party people, there's so much, uh, like so many little tips like this that I can teach you, and they're all part of my free materials. I have a free practice test that has video solutions, and I got a free class once a week. So if you're looking for ASVAB help, and you feel like you haven't used all the resources that you could, or haven't found resources that really sit well with you and explain to you how to get things done step by step, look no further. Again, who doesn't want a free practice test with video solutions? Who doesn't want a free class once a week? Go ahead, take the link out in the description of this video and sign up. 
And if you already are signed up, go ahead, make sure you like this video and comment if this taught you something new. That way we can keep pumping out videos knowing that we're helping you succeed. Again, my name's Anderson. I'm an ASVAB coach, proud to be so. Let's keep moving forward and let's keep having fun, but don't move forward until you have this practice test nice and easy. And if you wanna learn about my full program, just go ahead and text me right now and say, hey coach, uh, I need help. I want the full program. Please tell me what's up. My phone number is right over here. Let me go ahead and get this going right there. My phone number is 567-698-8867. Either me or my assistants will go ahead and reach back out to you, but just shoot us a text saying you want to know about the program and we got your back. The program is everything you need to succeed and we're more than happy to help you get there. And so, there it is, my party people. I'll see you in the next video. Let's keep acing the ASVAB and let's keep having fun. I gotcha.